guys, Ariel over here at Fine Myth. Um, you might remember that a couple weeks ago I had mentioned I had a quick trip out of town again for a surprise, and this is the surprise I was going out of town to get. This is Burley. Uh, his full registered name is um, Burley Coulter of Highlands Glen. If uh, you've ever read any of Wendell Berry's fictional books, you'll probably understand why I picked that name for him. If you haven't, um, go read some of Wendell Berry's books because he's a wonderful writer. Anyway, this is Burley, and he is an English Shepherd. Um, if you've been following me for a little while, you probably know that I really miss Grizzly when I was unable to keep her here in my life. And I have been, hi baby boy, I do love you. I do. He is very affectionate. Um, you're not sitting up and posing very well for the camera though, are you? Well, you're not. Um, anyway, I didn't think that emotionally I could handle a, uh, another situation with a senior dog um, like I ended up in with her, but I did really miss her companionship here and um, just being able to have her tagging along with everything I did for the little bit that that worked. So I... I've never, I've raised puppies before, I just haven't had time in my life for one in a while, and so I was pretty confident that I'm able to do that. I've never tried taking on a senior dog before, but, uh, and not to discourage anyone else who wants to do it, just be aware it may turn out to be a bigger project than you thought. Um, this, uh, so this little guy, I wanted, I was looking for, for somebody who could come home with me when kind of here toward the start of winter when my life is a little more free and I have um, more free time to spend raising a new puppy. He is an English Shepherd, so he's kind of a, um, it's not a very well-known breed in this country, but it's, um, he'd be kind of a cousin of like a Border Collie, an Australian Shepherd in the, in the herding group. Um, some of his relatives are working herding dogs. I obviously don't have a flock of anything, so he doesn't have a working herding job other than herding me. Um, but he grew up on a beautiful ranch in Washington along with all his parents and some other dogs and his um, eight brothers and sisters and goats and ducks and chickens and all of that stuff. Um, and he, um, he's just been a wonderful pleasure to have here so far. Uh, the folks who raised him did a, a phenomenal job. They take very good care of their dogs and, the, and their animals, they believe in. Um, natural rearing, which would be basically, to abbreviate, it would be raising your animals exactly like I would take care of my own self and health with some slight differences for different species. Um, but anyway, he, uh, he stayed with his mama till he was 11 weeks old. A lot of people bring their puppies home at like seven, eight weeks. And um, part of me was a little bit torn about that because I kind of would have liked to have him when he was a little bit littler. He's now, what are you now? Hi. You are a little over 13 weeks old now. Yes, you are. So he's not a tiny, tiny little puppy anymore. But um, at 11 weeks old, he was so well adjusted and, <laughs> hi baby and so mature um, in my experience normally when uh, you know a new puppy comes home and has just left its mama and everything it tends to cry for a couple nights and that's just part of the adjustment period but I am now despite the fact that it would have been fun to have some time with him when he was a little bit tinier I am now a very firm believer in um, that puppies should probably stay with their mamas a little longer if at all possible because he was so well adjusted he didn't even cry the first night I had him here I mean he whimpered when he needed to go pee and that was about it. Um, leg still is not his favorite occupation until he wears himself out and then he passes out and just sleeps like a rock. Um, but yeah, he was just, uh, I've had no crying. I have not had an accident in the house. Um, I think his mama had him mostly potty trained before I got him. Um, he does love to chew. He's got lots of chew toys, ropes and bones and Anyway, um, ropes and bones and antlers and 
balls and all kinds of stuff to chew on. He, he's been very good at it. If I tell him not to chew on something that's not his, he, he listens really well. Um, his coloration is going to be, uh, I think, a really gorgeous dark sated shable. He should look something kind of like this when he's an uh, adult. Um, his, right now he's still got his fluffy puppy coat, but his, his adult coat will be coming in. And English Shepherds come in a lot, of, a lot of shades of blacks and whites and browns and various combinations thereof. Um, he loves to play outside. He's been tagging along with everything I do, everywhere I go, every job I do for somebody, um, filling up the garden beds. He uh, was busy eating the dirt while I was trying to uh, fill the beds, and he loves picking up little wood chips, um, and each one he finds is so special to him, and he carries it off so very proudly like he's got the most awesome treasure in the world. And he does love to cuddle. We spend a lot of time cuddling and sleeping on the couch, and and licking and kissing. He's a very, very affectionate dog. And because we want to make sure he grows up to be a very well-adjusted dog and not like a lot of dogs that end up in shelters because somebody didn't um, make sure that they had a chance to be raised well as a puppy. So we've been to the post office and met everybody there. And we've hung out in front of the grocery store and met everybody there. And we've uh, gone to quite a few of my friends' houses and met them and, and children and dogs and all kinds of strangers and stuff. And he's just, he's awesome with all of it. So it is just so fun to have him here and tagging along with everything I do. You guys are going to see him in hopefully a lot of videos for many, many, many years to come. <laughs> Hi, baby. You're such a goofball sometimes. Yes, you are. You're such a goofball sometimes. He's got bat ears when he flops upside down like that. Show off your pretty black, black spot on your tummy. Yeah. How about you sit up so people can actually see you? And I've been taking lots and lots of pictures. He loves the snow. He adores it. He's been jumping in it. He's the only dog I've ever seen who can actually catch his tail like halfway in the middle and pull on it. Um, he loves jumping in the snow and eating it and rolling in it and shoving his nose through it. And, um, and just we've been on walks and played in the creek and um, just all kinds of projects. And because he's beautiful and I'm a little bit in love with him and I like taking pictures anyway. I've got lots and lots and lots of beautiful photos of him already. So I just wanted to let you guys know that's my uh, latest new uh, news here that I'm excited about. Um, in the last two weeks since I've had him, we've been spending just some t a lot of time, which is partly why I haven't been online so much, just getting to know each other and getting him settled into the house and and learning what the expectations are for being a, a good doggy here and and he has just been amazing he doesn't know he's on camera he's just doing his thing um anyway so i am excited about that and i imagine some of you guys will be too but i i love having this beautiful guy here oh and a lot of people haven't heard of english shepherds i get a lot of questions about how big is he going to be his dad's a little over 60 pounds he does have one uncle who's um 70 something but i imagine he'll be high 60s hi baby i love you i do and he's already got some awfully big paws here as you can probably see and if he grows into them, he's going to be a pretty big boy. Yes, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, I do love you. I do. I do. I do. Do you need some some food? Yeah. Is that why you're so licky right now? Do we need some food? Okay. Anyway, that's <laughs> that's my beautiful baby boy, who you guys will be seeing a lot more of, and I'm very excited about.
Thanks for watching, folks! If you're interested in more info on my off-grid tiny house life, check out some of my other videos here. And if you like what you're seeing, click the little picture of my house to subscribe and then hit the little bell so YouTube actually notifies you every time there's a new video available. See y'all next time!